while doing a back squat and loading the spine, risking spinal compression when we have so many different good functional squats are available to us. First one, the bear hog squat. It keeps the, keep the spine nice and locked and it allows a deeper squat. Second one, front loaded. It's like maintaining a front plank. Okay, you need to resist that bag, especially these big guys. Up here. Next one, fist loaded. Same like the front loaded, but now we have so much more work on the, on the entire trunk, the core is lit up, it's on fire. You wanna spice it up? Do your sprinter squat. Okay, you need to resist any lateral, any rotational forces, staying stable. Okay, here how it goes. Lateral squat, it's always a good one. Next one, shoulder loaded squat. It's a sandbag specific. Okay, so much harder than it looks. It makes you work your entire trunk. You need to resist that um, lateral rotational forces. It's an unbelievable squat. Let's get the bag up here. Okay, maintaining that trunk. You need to squeeze here to stay nice and stable. There's no shift side to side, nor rotationally. Okay, last one, split squat. Why not use the kettlebells, unique attributes, and then do that asymmetrical loading for that split squat. I love this one. So one comes up here, the other one stays down. Okay, and then here how it goes.